What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kai McPhee, and I make fashion videos. Today, we're going to be doing a tutorial. We're going to be making basically jeans that look like this. But anyway, let's get into the video. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get your seam ripper, and you can also use scissors as well. I suggest getting fabric scissors. What you're going to do is you're just going to use this and undo all the seams all the way into the crotch, all the way to the pocket on both sides. That allows us to get sew this all the patches, all the patches we want without sewing both of these together. You can just undo this, the whole bottom seam first. All right, so this is how it looks. As you can see, it makes your pants longer, it literally does. All you're gonna do is just iron that down. And it's also easier to open the seams on the side since everything is unfolded. And you're gonna go all the way up to the pocket. Like that's why I say you should stop. And then you're gonna do the other side. Yeah, as you can see, that's how it should look. Now you're gonna do the other side. What you're gonna do, you're gonna get all the scrap that you're gonna use, and you're literally just gonna cut them out and then place them where you want. So I had an extra pair of jeans and I just cut a small circle and I literally just cut petals out, different sizes, very chaotic, that's the word. It's very chaotic. So that's an example of how to do a flower. Very simple and it looks nice. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I got so far. So I just got honestly like three flowers. And then also in the jeans, I also see there's a lot of embroidery, so I made sure I keep the embroidery. So this is just one leg so far, the front leg. All right, y'all, welcome to my sewing station. I know it's a mess. I'm just show y'all what I'm gonna do. You're gonna put it to a zigzag stitch, so you're just gonna turn it to the literal zigzag thing that's right here. And then you're just gonna put it to the width of six so it can get as much length as possible. And you're gonna put it on the machine and sew all those patches down. I'm um, not gonna lie, it does take a long time. So that's what I'm saying. Really take your time. Yeah, have fun and just go crazy. In my past videos, I have shown how to do the zigzag stitch. So if you wanna look at that, go look at that. But zigzag stitch is easy. Honestly, my main note is just don't fight the machine, flow with it. But let's get started. Currently, I am on day two of the jeans creation. This is the front so far. I really like how chaotic it has turned out. This is just the front. Um, as you can see, it's like, that's like a cactus and like flowers, another flowers and stuff. It's just colorful and happy, you know? And then on the back, it's completely clear. Um, in the photo that I'm looking at, it's not really a lot of it between the back of the knee and stuff so i'm gonna really focus on the bottom and then just the top and then we should be pretty much done and then we just have to add a flared um flared at the bottom so how i cut it out basically i just literally just cut out what i want and then i just cut out round shapes really so everything is usually around it is no straight leg to anything unless i'm like aiming for something like how i did like the tree branch but other than that I usually just cut around in circles to keep everything um, nice and round and keep the trend of it going. And it does not have to be perfect circles. So like for example, it's literally more like an oval. And then I just literally place it on the denim and then I pin it. Boom! And we are done sewing on all the patches. It honestly took like, I think like one hour per leg. Yeah, I think we're done sewing all the patches and I'm satisfied. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin everything up. So what you're gonna do is flip it inside out and you're gonna pin up in the crotch area and put it back on the lines and stuff you don't have to fold it i suggested leaving it out so it can have a little bit more room and you're just going to pin it up pin it up and you're going to basically stop around lower calf or like mid calf because that's where you need to put your flared part so mid calf so mid calf so mid calf on both sides so y'all gonna do that all you gotta do is a straight stitch but yeah let's get started Okay guys, so because I don't really want it to be like bell bottom me, I decided to only flare up one side. So you see this is like the inside leg is sewed up and then the outside leg is flared up. And what you're gonna do is called ironing your seams. You can also do it for the whole jean as well to make sure that it sits flat and stuff, but you're just going to iron. So you just flatten it out and then you get an iron and you literally iron it. Your iron it means, it just, it just makes it look seamless like, it's like the same fabric, you know? 
And then I also cut off the edge at the bottom because I like the raw edges at the end. And this is how it should look at the bottom. All right, guys, I'm gonna show y'all the pants. This is how the pants turned out. I'm just wearing these clogs right now, but these are the pants. Like these are the pants. It's like, like these had a, the back look and stuff. And they fit really good. I like how they're like a little bit, not tight, but fitted around the thighs and it flares out. Well guys, thank you for watching the video. Um, hope that this tutorial helped. If you have any questions, please just drop them in the comment. If you have any video suggestions I should do, please comment them. Anything, just comment, you know? Make sure that you follow me on my other social medias right here and stuff and stick around for more videos, you know? Bye.